Hey, it's Marshall. Um, I'm going to show you some uh, really cool licks, pretty amazing licks as you can play uh, with swiber picking, which is the combination of sweet picking and hybrid picking. Uh, I just crammed the words together and got uh, swibrid. So let's start off with um, a, a, a song, a keyboard lick from Genesis, which is the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway part of it. Um, let's start off right here. So what we have here is a really nice, neat chord progression from Genesis, you know, as usual. Very, very creative, quirky, lots of style. Uh, starting off in E major 7. And so I'm using this view so you can see the picking. And you can see uh, how how uh, little wasted motion there is. So it's uh, really economy of, of motion movement too. So what we, where we start is, uh, you know, the 12th fret E string. And we just play three notes on a string, but we start with our middle finger, plucking. Then come down with a down stroke and two up strokes. So that's 12, 11, D sharp, B at the 7th fret, G sharp, 9th fret, B string. So middle finger pluck. Down, down, up, up. And then for the next part of the arpeggio, the lower part, you grab the open E string with your middle finger and then come down at the, at the major 7th of the D sharp 11th fret and come up twice for the B and G sharp again. And then just repeat it. Okay, and the next chord is A major seven, and this is all. Uh, this you don't really need uh, the the hyper picking part. You just gonna sweep pick this. So it's just twelve nine C sharp, A tenth fret B string, G sharp the major seven, E the fifth ninth fret. Okay, and then you then you got to get this other part of the sequence. So you go back to the 14th, don't play the C sharp here, that leaves you in no man's land. You need, we get two notes on the string so that'll turn our pick around. So you got C sharp at the 14th fret B string, A, 10th fret B string, and then G sharp on the third string at the 13th fret. So putting it both together, this time you go. Okay, and then we're going to go to F sharp minor 6 for the next next chord in the progression. So, so we start at the D sharp. Down, up, up, up. And that's 9, 10, 11. Going across the G, B, and E, uh, e B, and G strings. Then the uh, D sharp again. And then come up here and uh, pull off from the 14th fret to the 10th fret. Instead of grabbing the C sharp over here at the 9th fret, we're grabbing it over here at the 14th fret B string. So our pick can you turn around. If we were to try and grab it here, what would happen? way harder lick so you have one note on a string so so then put the both of them together and you got and then 
go off to the next next chord is the C sharp, and it's a different pattern. It's just down the arpeggio, then back up again. And so we have three notes on the on the top on the top string on the high E. So that's why that's why we use uh, I use like a banjo roll to go up to ascend downstroke on the C sharp 11th fret D string middle finger on the uh, E E sharp 10th fret B, G string then on the G sharp the fifth do the ring finger and then the pinky on the ninth fret for the root so by doing this by playing the the um, playing the hybrid picking on with my uh, pinky right here on the ninth fret I can come back in I can come with a downstroke and then an upstroke yeah so you do that real slow make sure that's nice and clear so let's play the whole thing kind of slow. Let's try that again a little faster. Okay, so that's the first uh, first lick we're going to talk about in this lesson. Now let's go off to the, the next one. And this is a lick from the Black Page number 2 by Frank Zappa. And uh, in the first, um, let me just play some so you, I can remind you of how the tune goes. <laughs> Here's the lick we're going to play. Yeah, so it's a really quirky kind of lick, but it's uh, kind of a signature Frank Zappa thing where he's doing a lot of different, he does triplets, then quintuplets, then uh, then septuplets are, are his note uh, divisions here as, as the lick speed kind of speeds up accelerates and builds tension it's really really a cool signature thing that, that Frank Zappa did that uh, not you don't really see any I don't know very rarely um, so let's see how to play this um, so this is just a da -da -da -da, just kind of going up C major thirds C E D F E G so it's kind of cool right there you got a um, got a minor second to uh, down a major six so you're gonna sweep down that You don't really need to worry about your picking here because it's not not that fast. So just play whatever's comfortable. Um, I like to just go three down strokes and uh, uh, up strokes in a row, and then come with my ring finger and grab that to pick that tenth fret G string. Get that F. Yeah, 
like I said, it doesn't matter so because it's not fast enough to warrant any kind of special picking yet because we're, we're accelerating. So we just did all uh, eighth notes there. Now we're going to do a triplet. So that's A, C, natural. So, so we got the got the triplet here, then the quintuplet, so, so you get for this kind of figure the nine, ten, not nine. 12, 12, you can, you can either, um, you can do a, you can do that, um, hybrid with your middle finger, down, up, up, down, middle, down, middle, down, up, 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 so you got, and I like to play, you could do that, but you would be out of position for the next part. So you need to take the 12th fret with your index finger. So you're gonna go up, down, up. And you might be thinking, oh, well you got you got an upstroke and your next note is on the next string over. Well, we're gonna hybrid pick that. So we got up on the 12th fret A, uh, A string. Up, down, up, hybrid. Middle finger on the 10th fret D string. So, so now we're back into regular uh, economy picking once we get uh, that one uh, hybrid pick out of the way. I mean, we're back into yeah regular economy picking. So we go up, down, up, middle, 10th fret, D string, and he hits this note twice. Down, down, up, open G. So we got down, up, then hit the 12th fret D string, then hit the 8th fret A string, which will give us an F. But it'd be awkward to have to have uh, to have these two Fs in a row right here. So what I do is I go, I get the F over here at the, at the 13th fret E string. So let's try that last part. Just um, da, 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 da. so these are, and these are septuplets. Both these, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I'm missing a note. One, two, oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Remember, don't say seven, because then that'll put you in regular four sixteenth uh, notes. You gotta say sev when you're counting. I learned that trick from Mike Portnoy of uh, Dream Theater, <laughs> or formerly of Dream Theater. So we go one, two, Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. So let's try the whole thing again. Let's try it again. No matter what you do, it's still kind of get, it's going to be pretty tough.
So that's a little bit more of a black page number two. Yeah, so um, now let's get into um, this great Russian composer who's contemporary. Uh, he's based out of Moscow. His name is Alexander Rosenblatt, and he did some fantastic compositions, composed these pieces that were just, uh, just, just blew me away when I first heard them in 2005. They still do. They're just astonishing, the creativity and uh, musicianship, the technique, uh, the originality, it just, it just has it, literally has it all uh, from, from what I hear of Alexander Rosenblatt. I mean, these are sure to be classics. And it, it's his Christmas fantasy. It's his send up of uh, traditional holiday themes. And anyway, in the, in the, at the coda, at, in, in the final parts of the piece, he, he does some absolutely uh, dumbfounding, jazzy uh, ideas. So let me, let me do one of them here. Uh, I've been trying for like seven years to find a nice way to play this uh, this idea here. And I think I found it the best way. Is, and, it's, and it's still pretty difficult. So anyway, what it is is this. Now that is just wicked, uh, and it, and it's what you can play it over an F major chord, and it sound a little bit outside, but it'll still be inside because you're hitting almost all chord tones. But there's gonna just like three strategically placed passing tones that put it really uh, outside sounding. So it's it's really a great lick, and you're gonna start. You're gonna start, and I, and I and what I the reason I can play it fast is I. I figured out a pattern uh, that will enable you to, to play just burn this uh, using swibird picking. This is really going to take advantage of swibird picking more so than what we've done so far. Uh, and so it's based on this one pattern, a uh, pretty simple pattern, but let me just show it to you. It's where you pluck with your middle finger first, then go, then down, up, up, same thing. So yeah, it's just ring finger. And what we do here to change it up a little bit, we're going to skip a string. Since we're hybrid picking anyway, you don't have to pick right next to the you know adjacent string. So that's where it starts to get some of its otherworldly characters when you start uh, sweeping around and skipping strings um, simultaneously. You just get these. It's a crazy idea here. So let's let's start at the 22nd fret A string, and you're going to use this thing just to get the pattern down. Just a regular, regular triad, and then. So let's let's start off um, let's start off on the 22nd fret. So an A. So we're just going to go down a uh, minor seventh to get a B natural. Then go down a, a whole step to get an A, and then go down a major six to get 
a, a C here at the 15th fret A string. So, and once again, we have ring to, for the picking. You go ring, down, up, up, ring, down, up, up. And you got to try and get that down because you, what you have here is a lot. You have like three major problems right here. You have you have string skipping. You have wide interval. And um, and you have uh, economy picking, you have sweeping you have to deal with. So it's like really, to be a, I was thinking of submitting this as, as like, uh, bet you can't play this, because this has lots of problems going on all at the same time. So if you so just work on that. That's the hardest part. And then the next one, you go down to F, and then so we just outline the chord. Uh, and we're going to go down to here to F, 18th fret, B string. Go down to major 7th to G flat. Then go down a half step to get this F. And then go down to minor 6 to get that A. So the only non chord tone is this passing G flat. And the pattern's the same. Ring, down, up, up. Okay, and the last part of it is um, you get this, grab this C here on the 17th fret G string. And then you're gonna go down, down a minor, minor seventh to D flat. And then down, down a half step to C and then to F on the E string. And you might want to just practice going back between the two. And then add in the first one. Try and do it up to tempo. Still tough. Okay, um, and then the final lick is another one by uh, uh, Alexander Rosenblatt, and it's it's this piece. Uh, it's from his Astro Boy piece, uh, the Astro Boy Fantasy on a, a theme from this Japanese piece. And anyway, you uh, it's all these wonderful fourths, these jazzy fourths. And so we're going to start on the, let me just show you play it real slow. And you start before, he starts these jazzy chords like... to do that first part. Um, I think the cool part is this, this lick that starts off like in force. Okay, so you start off on F. So uh, what I do here is I just start with a down stroke and just go down in force and then you got a fifth here. So it looks like you're doing a power chord shape. And then I do a banjo roll up, up force from here from this 10th fret. So it's kind of like a similar pattern from the um, from 
the Genesis lick we just did. So let's try that again. Just so yeah, that's the first part. So you go up these four, so you do it with a banjo roll. 10, 10, 11, and then you sneak your pinky in at the 11th fret on the E string. So you did 11th fret on the B string, then you come over and bring your pinky for the 11th fret E string. So it's going to sound like that, but it's going to look like this. So you can see what I'm doing there. And then you come in and do this nice sweeping part. Um, normally on the piano, which is what this was written for, you would start way up high with the force circling back and forth. Uh, and and then, then you would just continue this pattern the whole way down this, with the, these parts I'm doing here. But since the guitar is limited, you know, and the we have a limited range compared to the piano. I, I have to ascend back up for this final part. So let's just go back up and we'll... Uh and this will just be, I guess, homework. I'll just play it for you slow and you guys can figure it out. See, I, I hate... I, I didn't figure out harmonically what exactly is going on here because it, it's magic and I don't want to ruin the magic by opening up the box and, and figuring out what's inside. I just want to leave it. Normally I do analyze stuff that I really love, but for this one I just said just leave, leave, leave it be, you know. I, I don't want to ruin the magic here. So you guys can figure it out what's going on exactly, harmonically speaking, but I, I don't want to do that for this, just this one piece. Let's try that again. Alright, we had a nice long lesson there and we, we covered some really spectacular licks from uh, some pretty disparate composers there. We had uh, started off with Genesis, uh, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway lick, which that part was from a uh, column, a Paul Gilbert column, from the, let's see, what is it, the May 1990 issue of uh, uh, Guitar Player, and the way he has it written, it was really tough to do, and it has to use, you have to use pull-offs and, and uh, string skipping, I think, yeah, so I, I, the way I did it was, you, you have a much more uniform attack and it's, I think it's easier, way easier. You just, it's just a little more, uh, it's based on a little bit more technical approach, I think. I mean, the guitar, let's face it, playing's evolved a lot since, you know, 1990. There's been a lot, lot more players who, who grew up with this who are now standing on the shoulders of these guys. And, um, and then the next piece we looked at was the, the lick from the black page number two, Frank Zappa, and the final one was uh, the couple of licks from uh, Rosenblatt, who was a great composer. And uh, Google Google him, and you'll just be astounded, like I was. Uh, he even has one crazier lick. Let's see if I can do it. He just, uh, more fourths. He loves fourths, I guess. And they work well. They work great for this kind of jazzy, this old jazzy classical genre he's got going. He, he's the composer, I think, who's melded the two genres the best, I think, out of anyone. Is, um, 
uh, Alexander Rosenblatt. I love his sonata, piano sonatas are great. Uh, Christmas Fantasy, like this, all of his, almost all, everything he's written is just is gold. I think. All right, uh, we'll we'll check you later. Uh, Marshall Harrison signing out.